I love science. I want to be a doctor. I love electronics. I wish to study electronic engineering. I love flying and I want to be an astronaut. Children are curious by nature and observe the various things around them. Plants, animals, technical devices and so on. It's up to us to sustain their interest in science and encourage them to pursue it as their success could have a direct bearing on the progress of the nation. Here, we should recall Prime Minister Nehru's love for children and an emphasis on creating a scientific temper. One of the earliest initiatives reflecting this philosophy was the Vishweshwaraya Industrial and Technological Museum, Bangalore. Inaugurated in 1962 by the then Prime Minister Sri Jawaharlal Nehru. Opened to public on 27th of July 1965 and named after one of India's most celebrated engineers, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Sir M. V., as he was popularly known, was born in Muddena Halli near Bangalore. He studied civil engineering at the College of Science, Pune, and went on to become one of India's most accomplished engineers. Sir M. V. has designed and implemented several landmark projects, including the KRS Dam at Mysore. The Vishweshwaraya Museum operates under the National Council of Science Museums, NCSM, an autonomous body of the Ministry of Culture, Government of India. NCSM manages a large network of 27 science museums and centers in the country and its core objective is to deliver emerging developments in science and technology to the people using the latest communication techniques. Vishweshwaraya Industrial and Technological Museum, Bangalore is the southern regional headquarters of National Council of Science Museums and governs the Regional Science Centre, Tirupati and the District Science Centres in Gulbarga and Tirnalveli. Opened to the public in 1965, this is the second museum in the NCSM network after the Birla Industrial and Technological Museum opened in 1959. The museums in Bangalore, Mumbai, New Delhi and Kolkata are linked via the EduSat Museum Network. The Vishweshwaraya Industrial and Technological Museum was established with the support of prominent industrialists and the state and central governments. The museum today is a landmark frequented by visitors of all ages. Come with me, let's explore the Vishweshwaraya Museum. The museum has on display some of Sir M. V.'s personal belongings and is a lasting tribute to his genius and quest for knowledge. There are seven permanent exhibition halls and two special exhibits. Let's begin with the special exhibits and this is truly one. The Wright Brothers Flyer One, the replica of a landmark invention in history. The authentic reconstruction was a joint venture between the National Aerospace Laboratories and Vishweshwaraya Industrial and Technological Museum Bangalore and was completely fabricated right here by the in-house exhibit team. It was unveiled in 2003 in commemoration of the centenary of man's first flight. Now, let's travel back in time. Here's a dinosaur from the prehistoric period recreated with its surroundings, a special exhibit. And now, let's move to the industrial age.
Here are the six classical simple machines defined by Renaissance scientists. Lever Wheel and Axle Pulley Screw Inclined Plane and Wedge What's a simple machine? Well, a simple machine is the simplest mechanism that uses mechanical advantage to multiply force. Wonder how work was done before simple machines were invented? Animal power. Animals drove simple devices to help farmers till the ground or lift water from wells. Wind power was also in use and is now an important renewable source of energy. Let's now move on to the regular exhibits. Have you ever seen the engine from inside? Come. Let's take a look at it right away at the engine hall. Have a look at these prime movers. Sure, you must have heard of this in your school. Simply put, a prime mover is an engine that converts fuel to useful work. The term is generally used when discussing any locomotive powered by an internal combustion engine. Here are several such prime movers. Set up in 1994, this hall depicts the evolution of mechanisms, machines and devices that form the very foundation of modern technology. Now just raise your heads! Startled by the complicated maze of connections you see, well, this is an energy wall system. It shows you the transfer of energy from one form to another as the ball passes through the various sections, cycloid, rectilinear, curvilinear and so on. We are now at the Electrotechnic Exhibition Hall, which has several interactive and classical experiments in electricity. Electrotechnic was the first gallery as the museum opened to public on 27 July 1965. The gallery has undergone subsequent renovation and was opened to public in December 1989 and renovated again in April 2010. This was chosen as the museum's first gallery encouraged by the fact that electricity plays an important role in the day-to-day -day life of an individual. This section has various interactive exhibits to help students understand electricity, exploring how current, voltage and resistance are related to each other. Learn about magnetism, generation, transmission and distribution. Find how electricity can be generated using fossil fuels and alternate sources. Wind energy, solar energy. Learn how solar energy can power a car or light an entire village. Browse through the milestones in electricity by turning the interactive monitor. Perform virtual experiments on basic electricity in Virtual EMF. Participate in the nuclear debate. Give your opinion on the various aspects of nuclear power. Other exhibits include energy demand, electroscope, electric charge, friction build-up charge, 
electrical safety, electricity at home, losses in electrical circuits, when lightning strikes, idle power, batteries, weather studio, smart room, and an innovative spark theater. This apart, there is a thoughtfully designed quiz corner where students can frequently test their knowledge. The murals here aptly depict the amazing inventions over the years, the basis of most being electricity. We are now in a section that is most sought after by young boys and girls, that is the fun sign. This hall was opened in 1996 and renovated in 2008. The gallery is full of interesting hands-on exhibits to surprise, excite and entertain you. Look at the number of children having fun here and you know what I mean. This section has excellent exhibits on mathematics, fluidics and magnetism, perception and challenge, sound and optics, and mechanics. Attractions include chaos and order. Explore the amazing group of pendulums that appear to be in disorder but soon synchronize to form a regular pattern. Rising bubble. Enjoy creating spherical bubbles that move up in slow motion. Floating ball. Suspend a ball in mid-air. Music in air. Move your hands in air and compose your own music. Witness the formation of a tornado in the middle of the hall. Smoke rings and more. The section's main attraction is a digital 3D theater that plays interesting movies. The theater is equipped with advanced acoustics and attracts an enthusiastic crowd daily. Right, fasten your seat belts and get set for a journey to the future because we are now entering the space section. This gallery was set up in an area of about 700 square meters and was inaugurated in June 1999. You must have heard of our amazing achievements in space technology. Well, Here's a glimpse of it all. Learn about space science and space applications. Landmarks in space. Space theater. Get a snapshot of the Indian space program. 
navigate using the tilted table, a unique device that allows you to position the cursor on an area of interest to further explore the topic. See the inside of a rocket launching station. A mission control center and the entire process of how a rocket is launched into space. All right, let's return to Earth and find out what else is there to explore. From something as vast as space to something as minute as biotechnology. You must have heard of words like genome sequence, cloning and so on and really wondered about what these are. Well, it's all unraveled here at the Biotechnological Revolution Gallery. Set up in January 2003, this section takes you through the entire evolution beginning from the very basics to important landmarks including genome sequencing, applications in food, agriculture, industrial, pharmaceuticals and so on. The bio quiz is an added attraction and the children can participate and test their knowledge. You will also learn about the latest developments like cloning, their ethical impact and recent developments in biotechnology in India. Today's generation is exposed to various electronic appliances, the mobile phone, laptop computers, internet and so on. The digital age is here and there is a huge impact on communication, medicine and entertainment. Set up with major financial support from Bharat Electronics Limited, the BEL Hall of Electronics gives you insights into the newer technologies that are around us. Here, we can understand the manufacturing process of microchips and other fascinating exhibits on digital electronics, communication, virtual environment and computer software. The gallery provides information on basic electronics, digital electronics and communications, electronics in defense, imaging technology, and telemedicine. The telemedicine section here is online and is connected to three hospitals Narayana Hrudayalaya Bangalore, SRMC Chennai and Amruta Institute of Medical Sciences Cochin. In fact, visitors can consult experts from these hospitals online for advice. Whether he is a very uh, severely active person or a sedentary person or moderately working in a desk, sitting in a desk and walking, all these things will a lot of difference. All right, now let's move on to the most fascinating inventions of recent times. Virtual reality. Hmm, what was that? Virtual reality is a form of computer simulation where the participant feels or gets an illusion that he is a part of an artificial environment. Say for example, flying a plane or driving a racing car or floating in space or don different hairstyles and makeup right there at virtual makeover. A 
And now, we come to the Science for Children Gallery, opened in 2007 and is specifically designed for children between 3 and 12 years of age. Look at the children having fun, totally engrossed. The gallery houses fascinating exhibits on building blocks, train, sounds in nature, shadows and color, touch and smell, inside the human body and a lot more. This apart, the museum is involved in various activities for visitors, children and teachers, both in-house and in other locations. Visitors can experience exciting programs including Tara Mandal Show, conducted in an inflatable planetarium for 25 visitors at a time. The show is of 30 minute duration and 2 to 3 shows are held daily. A unique feature of the show is that visitors can interact with the narrator. Science Demonstration Show is where regular science demos are held on topics like Science is Fun, Unexpected Science, Science vs. Miracle and so on. Two shows are held daily. Sky Observation Program is conducted every Wednesday and Friday and visitors can explore the night sky above the city. Popular science lectures are delivered by eminent scientists from different fields of science on the latest topics to students and teachers. Hobby classes are conducted for children covering electronics, computers, mathematics, physics and chemistry and various issues like eclipses, science fairs, science dramas and science expo are conducted. Periodic refresher programs are conducted for teachers and several schools benefit from this. And Museo Bus, popularly known as the Museum on Wheels. A bus fixed with 24 exhibits travels to rural and semi-urban areas to spread signs to those who cannot visit the museum. workshop is an integral part of the museum and all the exhibits are designed and developed right here. Wish to take a guess on the number of visitors to the Vishweshwaraya Museum? It's around 2500 per day or 9 lakhs per year making it one of the popular destinations in Bangalore city. And to learn about the future plans for the museum, let's hear from the director, Mr. Vasudev Bhatta. There are new, many facilities are in the pipeline for this museum as well as for the satellite centers situated at Gulbarga, Tirunveli and Tirupati. We are likely to open a new state-of-art gallery and on nanotechnology in this museum shortly. 
and the new planetarium and dinosaur park at DSC Tirunelveli and Gulbarga. At Tirupati, existing science park area being extended and new some more exhibits are being installed there and uh, a new gallery on universe is being planned and executed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I did. As I leave, I urge you to visit the Vishweshwaraya Museum as frequently as you can. Encourage your children, friends and neighbors also to visit the Vishweshwaraya Museum. The Vishweshwaraya Industrial and Technological Museum Bangalore pursues a vision of popularizing science in an informal way. Let's together encourage our future generations to embrace science. A community with a scientific orientation is an asset that can go a long way in building a modern India.